from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Entrusted by the Alliance with the ancient secret of how to assemble Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Defender of the Universe. This is one of the most beautiful planets we've ever explored. And it doesn't even have a name yet. Suggestions? I've always wanted to name a planet after my dog. Let's call it Rover. Rover? A communications tower is nearly complete. Here, let me see the binoculars. That construction crew's been working day and night. It's amazing how fast they built this place. We sure need a communications tower. Well, we've got one now, don't we? And it's a good thing we do. We're at least 10 million light years away from the nearest friendly planet. You know, here we are in the middle of nowhere, and I'm feeling proud to be here. Thanks to that construction crew. Hey, team, I got a surprise for you. Captain Newley! Hello. I've heard good reports about your work on this planet. When we work together on the Explorer, I could always count on you, too. Thanks, Captain. It's good to see you, and welcome to Planet Rover. Rover? What kind of a name is that for a planet? Uh... Captain Newley and I are here to fill you in on your next assignment. It's an important one for the Voltron Force. Right! right. It could mean the difference between war and peace. Captain Newley, I think perhaps first we should warn them about the dangers involved in this mission. You'll be representing the Alliance on a distant planet. That's why the communications tower is so important. Commander, the Voltron Force is always prepared, no matter what the situation. Get ready to go. Yes, yes sir. sir. Shouldn't we tell them they could be flying into some sort of trap? Troubles, nothing new to them. Commander, can't we get started now? Yes, Jeff, but I have one final request. Please get out of my chair. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, sure, Commander. Prepare to launch. There goes the bravest team in the universe. Captain, we're getting a message from the Drool Empire. Good. The new tower is working well. We'd never be able to receive a message from so far out in space without it. And it just might be the most important communication we ever receive. Azar. Is it done? Yes, I sent the message to the Alliance saying that you'd meet with them for peace talks. Now we must hope they'll be there, or even believe us after all our conflicts. Without their help, the Drool Empire is doomed. My brother, I know that your fondest wish has always been that our empire exist in peace. Fighting the Galaxy Alliance is senseless. What we must do is ask them to help us find a new world for our people to inhabit. Our warfare caused the destruction of the protective asteroid belt surrounding us. Now, ultraviolet rays are rapidly destroying us. Our home planet hasn't much longer to go. We must do something soon. I know you'll bring us through safely if others on the Supreme Council will follow your leadership. That will be my most difficult task. Please see if we've received an answer to my message yet. I will. <laughs> 
We must meet with the Alliance people and we must work out a plan of mutual assistance and cooperation. Commander, I think want you in council chambers immediately. What's urgent? I canceled all war plans. Sir, Commander Barkham is returning from a scouting trip. This is Commander Borgum. I have exciting news about that peace talk you planned. I'll be with you shortly. How did news of my proposed peace talk with the Alliance leak out? Your message was picked up by the robot interceptor. I can't trust anyone or anything anymore. Your father wishes to speak with you. My father? Even he knows? Greetings, my son. Greetings, father. I know why you're calling. About your peace talk. I assumed. You are doing the right thing, Hazar. It is a step that should have been taken long ago. I tried when I was chancellor, but failed. I'm very glad to have your support, father. You will have great opposition, but you must be strong. Let nothing stop you from meeting with the Alliance. I had hoped to keep it secret until I could accomplish something, but it seems that's impossible now. But I will have that meeting, and I'll bring peace and a new world to our people. You will. A word of caution, my son. Your generals know of your plan, and may already be plotting ways to turn your peaceful meeting into a deadly trap. Hezar he says he's called for peace talks with the Alliance. That doesn't fool me for one minute. It's just a clever way to catch the Voltron force off guard and attack. The tip-off was arranging the peace meeting on Planet Baron. Nobody ever goes there. The perfect place to bury Voltron. Commander Borgum's fleet is due to arrive soon. I wish Borgum hadn't learned about the peace talk. He's sure to put up a long, bitter argument against it. Other Druul leaders will join with him in trying to stop me, I know. They're all dedicated to war and conquest. But how stupid it is to want to conquer other worlds when you're losing your own world. Commander Hazar! Huh? I rushed here to offer my services in helping you smash the Voltron Force at those phony peace talks. I see. I'm well prepared. I've assembled the cream of our staff for this job. Captains Bruxo, Toxic, Twyla, and Bardo. But I don't see Captain Bardo. He's already on his way to Planet Baron, planning a trap that I'm sure you will appreciate. I want him stopped immediately. But sir, I don't understand. This is not a phony peace meeting. Your foolish meddling may have cost the Empire its one great chance for survival. This is Planet Baron, where we'll be having peace talks with the leaders of the Drool Empire. All right, Voltron Force, check it out. They want to meet with us at a spot near the North Pole. Let's go, Air Team! Let's go, Land Team! Let's go, Sea Team! Form Strato Fighter! Form Terrain Turbo Fighter! Ignite nuclear power thrusters and form Aqua Fighter! Commander, these slides show the area around the North Pole of this planet. As you can see, it appears to be normal and safe. Where's that cave where they're supposed to go in and meet the enemy? We should be hearing from them any moment on that. This is such a good opportunity for peace. I hope the drools aren't up to something evil. We are now directly over the North Pole. Hey, team, look at that! There's the entrance to the cave! As soon as we get their signal, we can go down there and meet their leaders for the peace talks. Just in case it's a trap, I want Crick's team to stay out here. 
Jeth, I picked up their signal. They're waiting for us inside. Okay, let's go for it. Cliff, your team will follow me. Crick, have your team stay here and cover for us. Yes, sir. I hope they're all right down there. I don't know how we'll help them if they're not. Captain Bardo, part of the Voltron force is still outside. You fools, go outside and get them. I hope this doesn't ruin the plan. Launch the attack fleet. Crick, there's a droll attack fleet approaching. Keep your eye on them till we hear from Jeff and Cliff. It's some sort of trap. Who'd ever want to meet in this place, no matter what the reason? Who'd ever hold a peace conference in an oven? Jeff, let's get out of here while we still have time. No, not yet. We gotta give the Drool Empire a chance to show up. I think Jeff and Cliff are probably flying into a trap. What about us? We're surrounded by an attack fleet. Blast them apart. Robotic chariot fighters, brace yourselves! This is no peace conference. Make every shot count. Get them. They're coming in behind us. Explorer, click here. We're under attack by the drools. This peace meeting was a fake. Send help right away. Commander, the Voltron force is in trouble. Send them help. All the Nogian escort fighters will move immediately to the vicinity of the Voltron force confrontation. Keep dodging him, team! Chase the Voltron force into that cavern. Captain, we'll have them in there in a moment. Make sure. When the planet explodes, I want them to be in it. Yes, sir. Jeff and Cliff can't hear us inside that cavern. We better go get them. After we go in there, Voltron's coming out. <laughs> we finally got them where we want them. When the planet blows up, they'll go with it. They've got reinforcements. Doesn't matter. Close up the entrance to the cavern. They'll never get out before the planet erupts. The enemy's over the cavern. Open fire. Keep trying to reach the Voltron Force. We're all set now. So, that weak need Hazar wanted peace with the Galaxy Alliance, did he? Well, we'll show him the one sure way to get peace in a hurry. Bardo is attacking the Alliance fleet that came for the peace meeting. No! I couldn't stop it! But Bardo is about to destroy the entire Voltron force. Then you'll have no need for a peace meeting. You fools! When will you ever learn? Weakling! Will they ever trust us enough to try again? I wouldn't blame them if they didn't. This way! 
Follow me. Okay. They've got us trapped. There's no way out of here. Maybe this way. Without Crick here to form Voltron, we're really cooked. We gotta get out of here or we're gonna melt. It's like a blast furnace in here. Gotta keep trying to find a way out. without a fight. More robotic stinger ships. Haven't you been able to reach them yet? No, I need both hands on the controls, if you know what I mean. We should be leaving this place before it blows up. It looks like we've got company. Crick! Yeah, it's time for Voltron! Air team, separate! C team, separate! Land team, separate! Okay, let's form Voltron now! And I'll form the head! Spinning laser blades! starting to disintegrate. What? Voltron destroyed the Robeast. Voltron will not survive when this planet explodes. Let's leave and watch the fun. Sir, the enemy fleet is pulling out. There must be a reason. Commander, the whole planet seems to be breaking apart. Huh? Where's the Voltron Force? If we're ever gonna make it, we better make a run for it now! But it's too small for Voltron. We'll have to split up. Okay, team, get ready to separate. Three, two, one. Fly, team, fly! If they don't get out of now, they're finished. 
this way. all ships. A planet is a special creation, a thing of beauty, an awesome and mysterious work of nature. It's sad enough to see nature itself put an end to anything so wonderful, but there's never a good reason for man to destroy something so precious. That's why it's so important to always keep searching for peace. Here she goes! to talk again, we'll go to meet with them again, even after what they did today. Because we can always feel secure with our most important peacekeeper along. Voltron, defender of the universe!